previously we have discussed that the major sources of water pollution are domestic waste industrial waste and agricultural waste so the waste produced at households like sewage leftover food plastic cups paper cloths etc are household waste and these household waste are eventually released into the water bodies through sewer pipes now another source of water pollution is industrial waste we know industries release a lot of toxic chemicals into the water bodies directly without treating them so addition of these harmful and toxic substances degrade the quality of water and lead to water pollution according to modern agricultural techniques insecticides and pesticides are used in fields to increase crop yield these insecticides pesticides and chemical fertilizers contain different toxic chemicals that are initially released into the soil and during rainfall these chemicals are washed away into the water bodies thereby causing water pollution so these are the major sources of water pollution and these sources are mostly caused by human activities since water pollution is mostly induced by human activities so we can control these sources in order to mitigate or curb water pollution let's see how we can control each of these sources sewage is a major source of water pollution this sewage must be treated before we release them into water bodies now sewage treatment mostly includes three processes or three stages the first stage is known as primary treatment in case of primary treatment the sewage is held in a settling tank in the settling tank we can see that the heavier materials settle at the bottom of the tank while the lighter liquid floats above the heavier materials that sink down is known as sludge while the lighter liquid that floats at the top is moved on to the next step that is in the secondary stage of sewage treatment the primary sewage treatment is followed by the secondary phase of sewage treatment the main aim of secondary sewage treatment is to reduce the biological content of the waste water and for this purpose the waste water is held in an aeration tank and here activity sludge rich in microorganisms is released in the tank these microorganisms act on the waste water and they discard or decompose the organic matter present in this waste water and this is how waste water is treated in case of secondary phase after this phase we will move on to the next phase the next and the final stage of sewage treatment is known as tertiary sewage treatment in tertiary treatment the water is held in a disinfection tank which is rich in chlorine when the chlorine acts on the water it purifies the water so that it is no more harmful for the environment this treated water is then released into local waterways like rivers or canals so in the previous three video we saw how waste water or sewage is treated through various processes now this processes is known as sewage treatment so sewage treatment refers to the removal of pollutants and other contaminants from sewage before releasing it into water bodies the sewage treatment as i mentioned include three processes the first phase of sewage treatment is known as primary treatment in case of primary treatment there is a physical separation of waste water that is the waste water is held in a settling tank where the liquid water floats on the top and the heavier materials present in dirty water known as sludge settles at the bottom of the tank this liquid water is then move on to the next stage of sewage treatment the second stage of sewage treatment is known as secondary treatment 
The secondary stage of sewage treatment is a biological process where the microorganisms act on the organic matter present in wastewater and decompose them. The third stage of sewage treatment is known as the tertiary treatment. The tertiary treatment is a chemical process where the water is held in a disinfection tank and in this tank chlorine is released and now chlorine acts on the waste water and filter it and finally after these three stages we get the treated water which is safe for the environment that is we can now release this treated water safely into the water bodies like rivers canals etc and this treated water as i mentioned is safe for the environment that is it will not lead to water pollution so this is how sewage is treated through rigorous processes so that it can be safely released into the environment now before we proceed with our lesson let us try to answer this question which of the following comprises of the tertiary stage of sewage treatment is it settling tank introduction of activated sludge addition of chlorine or discharge of treated water into rivers the correct answer is addition of chlorine this addition of chlorine is done after the first two stages that is primary and secondary treatment of sewage so addition of chlorine is the part of tertiary stage of sewage treatment so the correct answer is addition of chlorine let us now look into other ways in which we can control water pollution we know that water pollution can also be caused due to agricultural activities like use of chemical fertilizers insecticides and pesticides so these chemical fertilizers must be used at the minimum instead we can use natural fertilizers like natural manure and nitrogen fixing plants now natural manure is absolutely biodegradable in nature and thus it is environment friendly that is it does not lead to water pollution now you can prepare natural manure at home from the waste generated at households like leftover food vegetable pills etc so using these household waste you can actually prepare natural manure at home the second measure in which we can control agricultural waste is by planting nitrogen fixing plants now we know that at the root nodules of these nitrogen fixing plants different microorganisms especially the bacteria are present now this bacteria is indeed very helpful as it converts that atmospheric nitrogen into compounds of nitrates that can be used by plants so when these bacteria add nitrogen into the soil it makes the soil fertile this here we can see how naturally we can increase the fertility of the soil so if we use natural manure and nitrogen fixing plants instead of chemical fertilizers and pesticides then we can naturally increase the fertility of the soil and by following these measures we can also control water pollution apart from household waste and agricultural waste the discharges from industries is also another major source of water pollution now look at this picture this picture shows the top view of an industrial wastewater treatment plant now in this treatment plant the waste water of industries are treated before they are released into the water bodies thus this treatment plant removes the toxic chemicals present in the waste water of industries and after the water is treated here it is then released into river and other water bodies thus by treating industrial waste water in treatment plants we would be able to control water pollution So in today's video we discussed about various ways in which we can control water pollution. Initially we read that sewage must be treated in a plant before they are released into water bodies like rivers, canals, streams etc. Now sewage treatment plant as we discuss include three main phases 
primary, secondary and tertiary. In these three phases, the waste water is processed in several ways before it can be discharged into the water bodies. Another way in which we can control water pollution is that industrial discharges and waste water must be treated before releasing them into water bodies. Now, to control agricultural pollutants that lead to water pollution, we must use natural manure and nitrogen fixing plants instead of chemical fertilizers. So, these are the different ways in which we can control water pollution. So this is all about water pollution. In our previous lessons, we have read about sources and effects of water pollution. And in today's lesson, we discussed in details about control of water pollution. In our next video, we will discuss about another type of pollution that is soil pollution. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now